11 and a half months ago, Brandon Sanderson said this. Expect in the next few months some announcements. And he also said this. I don't need to pitch to anyone. They pitch to me. Um, and they come in with a big take on what they want to do. And the conversation centers around mostly how are you going to make sure that this matches Brandon's vision? Like, what am I allowed to do? What are you going to have me be doing? Uh, with television shows, can I co-show run with someone else? And he also said this. I would be uh, surprised if we aren't on set um, doing things in uh, this time next year. Uh, I would be I would be shocked if we aren't. And if you were online when he announced this news, then you would know that everyone was so, so excited. But it's been literally 11 and a half months since he stated these things. And since then, we haven't heard anything. So the real question is, should we be worried? Just to wrap up what Sanchez said, a year ago he said that he was literally receiving offers where studios were saying that they wanted to start production in 6 to 8 months. Consequently, he said that he would probably have some very very exciting news in literally just a couple of months, which never happened. And then the statement that everyone took notice of is that he said at this point next year, which is literally in 2 weeks time, he would be not surprised, but he would be shocked if he wasn't on set and had started filming some of his books uh, i would be i would be shocked if we aren't and he strongly hinted at that it would probably be the Mistborn trilogy but since then nothing has happened so obviously i don't have any insights into what has happened but i do have some theories for why there is a delay and at the end of this video i'll give three potential outcomes for the cosmere adaptations and discuss what i will think will happen and give my thoughts on whether cosmere is ever going to come to the big screen or not okay firstly one thing that i did take note of, of in this quote from a year ago is that sanderson said that he wants a big say in the productions basically the studios that contacted him a year ago they basically gave him a plan and told him what they wanted to do and Sanderson he had a lot of questions about whether he could veto some stuff and so on and so on and basically it seems like Sanderson he wants to have a big say in how his books are being adapted and he is willing to say no and I did find another quote that was from two years ago which I thought was very interesting he said, I've had a ton of interest lately. A few years ago, I mentioned that I got a lot of interest because the Cosmere was naturally a shared universe. This was hot in Hollywood for a while, as evidenced by the terrible ones that they made and tried to force to work. So a lot of people were really interested in this. One of the big problems being that epic fantasy is super expensive, and they were really worried about doing an epic fantasy. Now, the issue is, I am at a place in my career where I don't have to say yes anymore. For the longest time, I needed the money from Hollywood, but these days, I'm not in that position. I don't have to worry about when someone w comes in with a large check and says, here you go Brandon, I can say no. And I have been saying no quite a bit because there are certain guarantees that I want that most places in Hollywood don't want to give me. So I have said no to a surprising number of things lately as I've been targeting working with people that I really like. Now this quote was from two years ago and around a year ago he said a lot of TV studios had now approached him with more direct plans of what they wanted to do and it seemed like the, the discussion had really progressed to a good place and Sanderson he obviously was very very excited in this live stream that he made. However, I am speculating that maybe something has happened behind the scenes where Sanderson has simply said no to some things that may have made some TV studios actually change their mind about whether they want to bet on it or not. I have no idea what those changes could have been, but maybe some studios only want to buy maybe only the Mistborn trilogy and Sanderson want them to also buy maybe Era 2 as well. Maybe someone wants to make a TV show when he wants to make a movies, or maybe they just want to make some big changes to the world and so on that he just simply doesn't want to do. There are so many things that can go wrong when you're negotiating and discussing stuff like this and it's very rare for an author to actually be that brave and have the audacity to say no to these big Hollywood studios. I mean usually authors they are just extremely excited about the thought of a studio adapting their movie and they also get a considerable paycheck out of it so there's also like a huge financial incentive. So I think a lot of film studios are probably very surprised that Sanderson is this willing to say no and I'm just speculating here but I'm just thinking could it be that since this live stream took place that some studios have maybe proposed making some changes and Sanderson has simply said no and maybe negotiations have broken down? I have no idea there's no news about it but I'm just thinking 
thinking that might have happened. Now, the second thing that might have happened is that he's still very much in the process of evaluating the different offers and negotiating and going back and forth. And maybe the more positive side, maybe there are two or three studios that are really, really, really keen on making this happen. And Sanderson is simply trying to see which studio can give me the best deal. And maybe those negotiations are just taking longer than we expect. And that could like be the best possible scenario for Sanderson because he would get more money and also get a more faithful adaptation. But again, we simply don't know. Potentially the negotiations have broken down or there are more studios that are interested than he maybe expected, which is making things take longer than we expected. So those are two factors that may have had an impact on this big delay. But there is also a third factor that I have to mention, and that is the writer strike that has been taking place in America. The Writers Guild of America has been striking now for a couple of months, which has literally affected more than 11,000 people that work in the industry, and it has caused massive disruptions to the whole industry. For example, Christopher Paulina's new adaptation is put on hold as long as writers are striking. And some of the other shows that have been put on hold are some big names such as Severance, Abbott Elementary, Euphoria, The Last of Us, Cobra Kai, and the final season of Stranger Things. So Hollywood is in a bad place at the moment. Now to add to all of that chaos, streaming services are not in a good financial place at the moment, with a lot of streaming services losing millions of users, which really makes me wonder, maybe a lot of streaming services are more hesitant about taking on a massive project like the Cost Me by Brandon Sanderson when they can't even work on their own series because writers are striking. The fact that Pauline announced that his books were being adapted again, but he also said that everything had been put on hold because of the strike really makes me wonder that maybe as long as writers are striking we might not get any adaptation news from Brandon Sanderson. I don't know but surely that must have had a huge impact on the announcement that he talked about that we would have heard months ago. So what happened next? Well as I see it there are three potential scenarios that could happen in the next month or so. Firstly, the most positive and probably also the most unrealistic possibility is that maybe Sanderson's word from a year ago will actually come true. Maybe in two or three weeks of time, he will actually say, hey, I'm on set now, this is actually happening. And how amazing would that be? But I think that is incredibly unrealistic because usually when stuff like this happens, we at least get the news and casting news and so on way, way in advance. And the fact that we haven't heard anything about who's on the project, which studio is working on it, what books are being adapted or the cast or anything makes it incredibly unlikely that in two or three weeks of time Sanderson will actually be on the set. But who knows, we can always cross our fingers. The second possibility, which is a bit of a more negative one, which I really hope is not happening, but it could be that negotiations have simply broken down and it could be that Sanderson have decided to cut ties with all the studios that he's been discussing with for a while and at the moment we're simply at a stalemate. If you think about the quote I cited earlier, Sanderson has been saying no a lot and it seems like he's willing to wait five or even ten years of time I like I know that he really wants his books to be adapted but he seems to be willing to wait and if none of the studios are willing to invest enough money or are willing to in to adapt these books faithfully enough then it seems like Sanderson might just be willing to wait and that would really be the worst case scenario for us fans of the books because that would mean that maybe we have to wait another five or ten years and adaptations take a long time to develop especially fantasy adaptations I mean just think about the wheel of time one of the best selling fantasy series in the past 40 years took around 40 years to get an adaptation. Now the Mistborn trilogy was concluded around 15 years ago and since then Sanderson has had ridiculous amount of success. I mean just the Kickstarter that he had 35 million dollars and even he has not received an adaptation yet. That just tells you how crazy crazy long these projects can take. I really hope we don't have to wait 40 years like the Wheel of Time had to do but who knows. But the third potential scenario and I think that this one is the most likely. I think we will hear some adaptation news relatively soon, possibly even in this year. Everything takes such a long time in Hollywood and it's very likely that even some small disagreement can lead to like a two or three month delay and the fact that the writers are striking and a lot of streaming services are in a bad place are just all external factors that Sanderson has no power over are affecting the progress on his books being adapted and I really think that is out of his control and from what I heard from Sanderson that it seems like the offer he has been receiving have been much more promising. Mostly how are you going to make sure that this matches Brandon's vision? Like 
what am I allowed to do? What are you going to have me be doing? So really, while it is unfortunate that we haven't had any more serious news about his books being adapted, I think that this is probably just a delay and within maybe six months time we will have some great news. But I really think that the writer's strike is having a huge impact here. But yeah, my best bet is that the adaptations are delayed, but we will probably hear some good news at the end of the year or sometimes in 2023. Let's hope so, because the Cosmere would be so, so good on the big screen and I and I would just love 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 to see the Mistborn trilogy and the Stormlight Archive and all the other books on the big screen. So what do you think about this topic? Are you worried that we haven't heard any more announcements about adaptations even though Sanderson said that we would have heard something by now? Definitely let me know your thoughts in the comments down below and thank you so much for watching. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching this video all the way to the end. I hope you enjoyed this video and got some inspiration to read more books. Now, if you want to support me in any way, then you can check out my Patreon. I have different tiers and you will get different benefits depending on what tier you support. Some of the benefits include getting your name in my videos, voting rights on my next feed, getting a special role on my Discord server, getting access to one Patreon exclusive video a month, or even art cards and bookmarks signed by my wife and me. Most of the money goes to hiring an editor to do a couple of videos for me a month, which basically allows me to post high quality content more frequently. But yeah, thank you so much for watching and God bless.